but once you wrap it around, go ahead and take your fingers and just don't worry about you're not going to break these hackle fibers off just just twist them the opposite direction back and forth that way you got you got to get them all to come out because they're because you tied on so many or we're tying on so many hackle fibers at one time and you may have to there we go looking good okay go ahead and then break your wire off if you will There we go. Okay. Bring in your scissors. Cut off that tag in a thread. Cut off the uh, the ends of the hackle. Take your fingers and pull, hold your thread straight up in the air. Pull all those fibers back, and then start building your head. And you're wrapping back over top of the fibers. This help them lay back a little bit. It's gonna look a little ugly at first, but bear with me. Okay. I can go ahead and zoom you back in now without knocking the camera over. Let me zoom in pretty far right there. Okay. Yeah, you can see it looks a little bit ugly right now, but we're, we're going to clean all that up. Take your scissors in, cl clip, 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 clip. Okay. And now uh, you can either wrap from the from here forward, or um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen my thread up a little real quick. Okay, that's kind of loose. Yeah, so if you, you see how it's kind of sprawled out, I don't know if you can see that or not. See my finger, see it's kind of spread out. That's gonna make that head lay nice and flat. I know it's kind of using a lot of thread, but it makes the best, the best fly head imaginable. And then, once you're done, bring your whip finish in. If you have a long reach whip finish tool, that's even better. I don't yet. I need to get one. That'd be really helpful. And don't worry about. Don't worry about doing two. Oh, make sure it's really important for uh, to keep your the thread from breaking. So if the thread breaks here. If the thread was to break here, to keep it from unraveling back, uh, tie your knot in at the very end, or at the very back of the head. Uh, it'll make your fly last a little bit better. And you know, part of the whole purpose for, or part of the reason you're, um, when you're tying flies, you wanna look out for small things like that, you know, and be aware of it. That'll make your flies last a lot more, a lot longer. Okay, so now we're gonna quickly, wrap this thing up with some eyes um, if you wanted to weigh put weight this fly a lot heavier I, I don't want to weigh it I want to weight it I want to uh, make a fly that's really slow sinking if you wanted to weight them though these bait fish skulls uh, bait fish heads from fish skull which is a company based here in NC by the way in North Carolina they make these um, Orvis sells them basically it's a it's a fish it's a weight. It looks kind of like a fish head. And it, they have eyes too that you mount to these things. But it slips over the eye of the hook once you don't want to fly. It won't fit this thing because I got a ton of thread on there. But it slips over the eye of the hook and slides all the way back. And the way it's notched, it makes your hackle uh, slide back perfectly. Um, so, okay. So, we're going to get two eyes. We're just going to drop one right there. And don't worry, they're not going to. We got some more stuff to do this thing. See, it's kind of just kind of level floating there right now. The adhesive on these eyes is to hold them in place so you can glue them in place. Don't ever trust this, the adhesive on this stuff. You always have to glue them. 
Okay. Now, if you look on top of the eyes right there, we have a little gap there and we have on the bottom. Now, usually when tying a saltwater fly, you would uh, use on a, make a epoxy head. This is better. Uh, get you some clear cure, clear cure, clear cure goo. And this is thick. Uh, I have thin also. The thin's good for um, the uh, the nose part of the of the fly. The thick will hold in the eyes better. And this stuff right here, the cool part about it is, is you don't have to worry about putting it on a uh, on a uh, one of those like little electric spinning wheels, the a drying wheel. You can literally just put it right on top of the fly. No bubbles, no nothing. So that's the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with the light real quick, just for a second. The only reason I'm hitting it with the light right now before I do the bottom is because I don't want them to. It's gonna need more light than that. I just kind of had to uh, do that just so it thickens up a little bit. So the back of the eyes. Enough for the thick. Oh. Light again. So this is the UV light that uh, clears it. So you see, the, it's just UV. It, it uh, this right here will actually um, cause that resin, which is a UV, UV activated resin. It'll cause it. I got a little, get off of there. Cause it to harden up. And it gets, it, when it hardens up, it has like a rubbery feel to it. We'll deal with that in a second, too. Okay, one more. That's thick. Bring it thin. The thin's not like super thin. It's not like super glue thin. It's more like just easily spreadable thin. Okay. By spinning this fly right here, the only thing I'm doing is, is I'm uh, spinning it and the centrifugal force will help that clear cure, uh, cure up symmetrical help it spread around evenly again it's not you don't have to have that that's just something that I like on this vice I'm actually very impressed with the Norvice I've read some guys get bad reviews on it I think most of them are uh, beginners who if you're if you're tying simple patterns the Norvice can get kind of irritating um, by simple, I mean if you're gonna tie parachute atoms, um, stuff like that. Flies where a rotary vise is not needed, but if you're tying stuff where you you really do need a, a rotary vise, um, you can't beat this thing. Especially in saltwater flies, um, or and and you know pike flies, big big freshwater flies, anything big where you need a good solid head. On stuff it saves you a lot of thread wraps by being able to spin the hook uh, around an axis so last but not least let's get this Griffin's thin coat which is kind of a knockoff hard as hull um, the, I don't know why the fly shops that I shop at don't carry hard as hull I wish they did this stuff's awesome I'm out I gotta order some more on eBay Also, if you're if you're new to fly tying, you cannot beat the uh, the deals on eBay when it comes to fly tying materials. Back when girls used to put feathers in their hair, that was how I was getting all my hackles. I was ordering all my saddles and capes from uh, from Britain and Ireland, and Scotland, because uh, I guess the fashion didn't catch on there. And I was getting good whiting stuff too. But that's the completed fly. All you got to do is just rub some multi coat over the um, over the eyes, and once it hardens up, the eyes will have that glossy look to them, uh, just like they do now. It won't have that rubbery feeling that you have that um, that's good with fingerprints. 
that rubbery feeling. You won't get that with the with this stuff. Um, so there we go. Nice fly.